Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and this video I'll be covering a Sniper Assassin and a Silent Assassin suit only as well. But I'm also going to be covering a Silent Assassin suit only Sniper Assassin in the first method and a very easy Silent Assassin suit only in the second method. Both of them are going to be completed on massive difficulty for the first method though. Is going to be this Sniper Assassin Silent Assassin suit only, just to show you that it's possible. Uh, for this, we're going to bring along the Kalma 2 Tranquilizer. We're going to bring along an, any kind of remote explosive that you may have. Bring along a briefcase, and inside it, bring along a suppressed sniper. You could, you don't have to bring along love the life and like I have, but I brought it along for star points, for uh, a one shot, for two kills kind of thing. So because it's piercing rounds, but um, you can bring along any suppressed sniper you like. Really, doesn't really matter. So what we're going to need to do first and foremost is set up the explosion for the satellite. And the reason why we're just setting it up for later on is because uh, we're not going to bother hiding the bodies that we're going to take out in the cave, and I just can't be bothered. So <laughs> I'm just going to set up the explosion for the very end, just to make it a little bit more cooler. So all three objectives get taken out pretty much at the same time. So once we're in this cave over here, we're going to wait for the camera to pan all the way to the left. It'll only appear in instinct, so you have to make sure the grid uh, pans all the way to the left. And then we're going to jump over the crate. And then we're going to subdue this guard when the guard furthest away from you is actually facing the other way. Once you've done that, we're going to drag his body a little bit further towards the wall so his body don't get found. Pick up the briefcase. And we're going to wait for this guard to turn back around and then we're going to throw the briefcase at his head and that will get, that'll get rid of him from the area there's also a crate right to, to the right there so you can hide his body in there if you'd like and shoot out this camera put it in the put it back in the briefcase now, if you can't be bothered, if you don't really want to, uh, you know, set up this explosion, you can just take it out right now if you'd like. Just throw it at the, uh, the satellite, explode it. Just make sure that the first body is hidden in the crate as well, because they are going to search everywhere once it goes off. So yeah, that's literally the only reason why I'm setting it up rather than just exploding it now. That's the only reason. There's also some nitroglycerin in there, so if you don't have any explosive or that, you can just use that. Just chuck it at the uh, the satellite. And that'll explode it for the third objective. So from this point right here in the beach, we're going to take the sniper rifle out, zoom right in on this little switch, and then shoot it. The first shot, for some reason, always doesn't work. I don't know. You always have to shoot it twice for some reason. I'm not sure why. But, yeah. You shoot it twice, then it will light up. Uh, Grey will tell you that the meeting is going to be called... And these, those two are going to talk in a little hut for a while, and then they're going to come to the tower over here. So, we, if we want Silent Assassin on the top of the sniper, sniper Assassin, we are going to make sure that we get rid of all the guards that are up here. So, we're going to climb up here, climb up here, stay in this bush, take out our tranquilizer. This guard will be walking towards the top of the steps. So, what we're going to do is just shoot him, then shoot the other guard that's in the area with his trank. There we go, we swap shoulders there just to make that work. There we go. So that's both guards taken out. We're only using the trank just to make these things a little bit quicker, but you don't have to. You can take your time taking these guards out if you like. Again, tranquilizer, not necessary. Explosive, not completely necessary either. Take his shotgun, however, and then drop it in the middle of the bridge. We are relying on uh, Akka seeing that shotgun, though, because if Crest sees it, that's going to ruin the whole thing, because they do have a guard that follows them up to this tower. So first of all, we're going to hide these bodies. Pickles pistol on the floor. Also grab that submarine key. That's going to be for our exit. And then next, we're going to subdue this guard up here. Just make sure you don't run around up here. You might hear your footsteps. So we're just going to knock him out, leave him there. That's fine. And then uh, the two targets are going to meet up here eventually. Just grab your briefcase, get past these guards by getting closer as you can, and then running past them. Alternatively, you can drop down and go around the long way and climb up the stairs on the uh, the eastern side, which is up here. 
So what we're going to do at this point is basically just wait around for the two targets to meet up. And we are going to rely on the fact that uh, Akka sees the shotgun on the, on the bridge. But this is going to be our spot where we snipe them. Because there's not really any of the good vantage points that's near an exit to take, take full advantage of. So uh, if you want to make sure that the shotgun is picked up by Akka, then what we're going to do is go back to the bridge where the two guards are. Because it's, this is not a trespassing area. It's only trespassing behind these two guards. We're just going to hang around here and just wait for them two to uh, uh, walk towards us. So I'm going to skip to the point where they actually do that because this can take a while. So after a couple of minutes or so, Akka there stops. She turns around and she tells the guard that she saw the shotgun. Again, if Noel Crest picks it up, he's going to take it away because he has guard AI. So it's very unique. It's the first... Uh, target in the game that we've had a guard AI kind of target so it is interesting but it, for this particular method it's kind of annoying if he picks that up but uh, most of the occasions on every occasion I've tried anyway that uh, the guard has picked it up so now these two people will be by themselves and that allows us an opportunity to snipe them so you don't have to wait for the moment that I've sniped them you can snipe them whenever you want to you, if you have, don't have a sniper rifle that has bullet penetration, then just do a headshot and then make sure you're uh, doing that slow down time thing and then headshot the next one. But you don't have to go for one bullet, two bodies kind of thing. But it's kind of cool. But once we've taken them both out there after sniping them, we're going to explode the rubber duck that we placed earlier. That's going to take out the, uh, the satellite. And then we can take the submarine exit that's right that. here. The rest will pick up Easy. So that's uh, a sniper assassin, silent assassin, suit only, silent assassin, suit only. And that will complete literally all the classic challenges all in one go. This is all a master difficulty as well. So I'm not seeing any difficulty increase from master to professional. I'm not sure what's different. It feels exactly the same to me. If you've noticed any differences, let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm curious to know what even is the difference between professional and massive difficulty on Ambrose Island. But the next method I'm going to show you is the Silent Assassin suit only, which is an easy one, that is. And you don't have to do this in master. It can be done in professional difficulty, whatever you want. But we are going to start in the central social hub. We're going to bring along the Kelma 2 tranquilizer stored in Farris Place, bring along a lethal poison vial, a coin, and a Krugermeyer. From the very start, we're going to let this opening panning shot play out which is quite an important thing. Once it stops moving, we can now exit the blend spot and then we run it down the street. To the left of the stairs, you want to pull out your Krugermeyer, shoot the uh, blue barrel. Just above it, there's going to be a little lantern. Shoot that. That's going to drop down, electrify the puddle, and then that's going to take care of Noel Crest. Really, really easy. Next step is to get our trank, and it's going to be right in here. As soon as you grab it, though, put it straight up, put it away because obviously it's an illegal item to hold. Next, we're going to climb up here, and then climb up here and turn the generator off. Once you've done that, that's going to distract the guard that's inside this little hut. Once he walks away and he exits the room, we're going to climb through the window just so he doesn't spot us. So as soon as he walks away, there we go, climb through the window. And from the opposite side of the room, shoot the wall, alternatively throw a coin in the corner of the room. Once you've done that and this guy's turned around, poison this glass of whiskey and then exit through the window. That's going to poison the glass, that poison there is going to poison our target, eventually. Um, and it's just an easy way of taking her out, real simple. So that's basically both targets taken care of. Now we're going to need to take out the, the satellite. And I'm not going for the uh, the exit that's right near the satellite because I just don't see the point of it because it's very, very inconsistent when it comes to the explosion and the AI. So you can take that boat exit there with the key what I just grabbed. I am actually going to take the helicopter exit on the bridge because, I don't know, I think it's m more stylistic when it comes to the exit. But that's just my choice. You can exit wherever you want to. From this point, I'm going to shoot out this camera. And then I'm going to take out my Calmer Tranquilizer. Then trank both of these guards that are in the cave. Just make sure you arc the shot correctly. So you, you hit both shots. And just make sure they don't see you when they're doing it. So then they're, they're, they're taken care of. They're knocked out. 
And what do you do when you're in the cave is come over to here, grab this nitroglycerin, and chuck it at the satellite. That'll destroy it, and that will complete one of the objectives. Well done. With the control now, because those both guards there are tranked rather than just regular knocked out, even though the bodies are going to get found, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating, which is a really cool thing about the trank. And uh, yeah. All we've got to do at this point is basically just uh, head to an exit. Because uh, she is currently in a little hut thing. She will come out and go momentarily into into that hut where the two guards were. Where the glass of whiskey is. It Was it was it whiskey or brandy? I'm not sure what alcoholic drink it was. But it had the ice in it anyway. We poisoned it. So that's pretty much going to take care of itself. So what we're going to do is head towards a bridge. So if you've never taken the helicopter exits, this is a good way of learning where it is. But you unlock that exit anyway uh, for, ch for the challenger, that is, by going to either GPS location once the mission is finished. And just keep in mind, you can't activate it until actually all the objectives are complete. There you go, that's one of the bodies found in the cave, but again, because we drank them, it's not going to make any difference. So there's our target being poisoned. We can now activate the GPS tracker, and that will get us the exit. I do like how... Gray is still talking, even though we're in the helicopter with him. And that's that. The rest of the it's time to go for this. But that will get us a easy silent assassin suit only for Ambrose on, and there's nothing really can go wrong there in terms of completing this silent assassin suit. Really, where can that go wrong? It's easy. It's quick. No problem. And that will take care of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want to do the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. If you've become a new member back in July, I will be updating these in the next video, these credits. So shout out to my current Psycho Assassin members, Andrew Phillips, Bedry, Wandering Wendy B, Constantine Mueller, Mark Davis, and Paul at home for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you've missed any videos that I've covered for Masters on Assassin's Suit Onis and stuff, link on the screen right now. See you in the next video. Cheers.